Morning everybody, it's Corey. Um, just watched an interesting video from my friend Ivan over at Pine Hollow Auto Diagnostics. Uh, ironically, he's got the same exact car in the lift I do. Um, and I was th thinking about ru running a, a simple video about wheels, tightening wheels, over-talking wheels. Um, something that's done pretty frequently, unfortunately. Uh, I look up on my computer and he's got a video. Same vehicle, snap three wheel studs. Um, I thought, well, here's the opportunity. Let's let's give this a shot. Uh, so forgive me if the video is a little awkward. It's my first shot at this. Um, so I'll follow along and I'll uh, I'll do the best I can here. What we got is a uh, 2011 Subaru Forester. Um, it really doesn't make a difference what the car is to a point. Um, wheels are wheels for the most part. Um, taking the wheels off, you want to do them by hand, that's great. You want to take them off with a gun, that's good too. Um, it, the, the issue is really putting them back on uh, is where the problem comes in. Um, yes, you can damage lug nuts from repeated uh, uh, an air gun. You know, you, you can swell up. They do swell up. We have issues with the, the, chrome, uh, the chrome covers swelling up. That has nothing to do with tightening or, or, or under over tightening. That's just a, um, inherent with some, some, some lug nuts. If that's the case, do yourself a favor, get new ones because you get the flat on the road and your lug nut's not going to fit and you'll be stuck in the rain or the snow and trying to figure out why your lug nut doesn't fit up your lugs. It's usually because there's rust that builds up underneath the chrome. I'll see if I can zoom in real quick. Underneath the chrome in here, this chrome will swell and the lug nut won't fit over it. Um, that's just something that has nothing to, like I said, not, not much to do with over tightening. That's, that usually comes just from weathering. Um, but let's get this wheel off and the important part will be, I'm going to rotate some tires. I'm going to put them back on. That's when we're going to try to pay some attention to it. All right, stand by. Okay, we got the wheels off. Um, let me just interject real quick. Uh, tire rotation, simple, right? Everybody's got a different way of doing it. Um, is it an issue? Yes and no. If, it's, if you have directional tires, they have to go front to back. It's obvious. Uh, you can't go to the other side. The tire will be rolling the wrong way. Um, but on a standard tire, they should switch sides. Um, I, in an ideal world, you want the tire to spend time at each corner of the car, if that makes sense. Um, my preference is I usually go straight back. Take the backs, crisscross them to the front. What happens now is this left front tire will go left rear. Next time it goes to the right front. Next time it goes right rear, then it comes back. That tire gets to spend a little time at each corner of the car, hopefully wearing as evenly as possible. Some guys, no, I want front to back, um, and that's fine too. If that's what you want to do. The only issue with my method is if, is if I'm not the only one that's doing it, maybe the next guy does it the opposite that tire ends up coming back up here again and all ends up doing is going back and forth is it huge no but you know what if you can get another 5,000 miles out of a set of tires by doing it properly why not right save a couple of hours that's that um, <clears throat> on the lug nuts do yourself a favor take two seconds get the wheel off put a little oil on them <clears throat> I don't care if it's a little grease a little penetrating oil WD-40 even a little never sees, take two seconds. It'll, it'll, it works. It takes two minutes. If the, you have any heavy corrosion here, clean it off. This is pretty clean. I think we did brakes not too long ago in here. Uh, even though we are up in the northeast and got tons of road salt, this one looks pretty good. Um, but if you have any, you know, the wheel was sticking or anything, a little never sees goes a long way. All right, a little bit of oil. <clears throat> and real quick check. If this nut... It goes on nice. If you can't do this, if it's binding or sticking by hand, something stretched. Usually, it's the nut, not the stud. Go and buy a new, couple of new lug nuts. Do yourself a favor. If they still, if they're still not screwing on, nice. Studs are probably starting to stretch. What will happen is, and here's the problem: an air gun in the hands of somebody who doesn't know any better. Or, or isn't used to handling an air gun, um, 
and I'm not gonna I'm, I make a beat up for this um, just certain individuals are new to the trade work at certain establishments where the, here's an air gun go rip the tires so often they start hammering away and hammering away what happens is these threads will start to get stretched either in here or the receiving end of it in here will start to get stretched and they don't just they just don't mate up anymore and that I think is the issue that my friend Ivan over at Pine Hollow had this morning pulling the nuts off they broke while they were coming off not back on not his fault he was just taking the nut off and it jammed up as he was unscrewing it locked up because the threads are probably stretched and then snapped off the stud the end of what he had is the if you go watch his video and I'll I'll put the link in the description he had half the stud like three of them snap off uh, ironic I was just about to do this video and I saw his posted pretty funny right um, and same vehicle um, so do yourself a favor a little bit of oil let's put some wheels back on and let's tighten them up the right way all right wheels are back on Start of the lug nuts by hand, not with the air gun in the socket. Um, can I do it? Yeah, I'm pretty good at it. I've done it a few times. Um, and But yeah, you, you know what? You One time you decide to stick the nut in the socket and run it on there with the gun, and it cross threads, you'll be sorry. Do it by hand. Uh, at this point, I could grab the air gun. Sorry about the lighting. I could grab the air gun and run them on. It's done thousands, hundreds of thousands of times a day by all shops across the country without a problem. If you know your air gun and you know the power of it, you can usually come pretty close to getting the wheel on without damaging anything. But even at a, a torque spec of 90 pounds, that gun's gonna run it up to 300, no problem, even a worn out gun. Doesn't take long to run that nut to 200, 250 foot pounds. Will it cause a problem this time? Maybe not. Do that over and over again, and you become the lucky guy, the unlucky guy to go to take that nut off and it doesn't come off because it's been stretched one too many times. So, for the sake of the video, and for the sake of the guys doing this at home, we're gonna do this the right way. Um, and for my nephew who decided to call me from a thousand miles away, hey, I wanna take my own wheels off and try my own brake job, what tools do I need? Now that he moves a thousand miles away, he's asking my advice. Uh, this is also for you. You don't need an air gun. You don't need a big fancy tool set. Change the set of wheels. Regular socket, get a breaker bar, put the nuts on by hand, tighten them all the way down, get them nice and snugged up. By hand is fine. And then we're going to put this thing on the ground and we're going to torque the wheels the right way. Um, if you don't have a torque wrench, you can just do it by hand uh, with a breaker bar. But I gotta be honest, in, in 32 years doing this, most of the over-tightened wheels that I've seen are done by hand, not the gun. Unfortunately, it's usually the guy that's doing his own tire rotation, owns his own brake job, changes his own flat tire, that decided, I don't have an air gun, I'm only doing this by hand, so I, I better make sure I put it on real tight. And they tend to really over-tighten it. They get this breaker bar and they start standing on it. And, and they crank this thing down. Those are the guys that do more damage. Not their own, well, I don't want to say not their own fault, but because they're just not experienced and they think, well, I'm doing it by hand, therefore I'm gonna to have to really crank the heck out of this thing. And those are the guys that, guys, gals that do, do the most damage. So let's see if we can do this the right way, even without the air gun. All right, stand by. All right. Um, I did just realize I shot most of this video apparently facing the wrong way. Forgive me, I'm new at this. I didn't feel like reshooting the whole video, so we're just going to continue from here. Hope I didn't mess you guys up too much. Um, lug nuts are on by hand. Um, I put the claw back on the ground. It's just touching. I still have it on the lift. You can do this any way you want. You want to use the parking brake. If you know on the rear wheels, you want to have somebody put their foot on the brake. That's fine. I put them on just hand tight. Um, torque wrench is the right way to do it. You can do it with a breaker bar, like I said. The problem is most guys want to stand on this thing and really get into it. And that's where the problem comes. Once you get used to doing this, 
you could probably get away without it. You can come close enough. The problem isn't uh, of being a little bit over 74 foot pounds is what it calls for. If you tighten this to 90, 100, 110, that's not the issue. The issue is when guys are tightening this thing down to 200, 250, that's when the threads start to stretch and that's when you're going to have problems getting them off, putting them on, whatever the case is. Uh, a couple of pounds here there isn't going to change the world. Um, the other thing that can happen when you over tighten them, and I should have mentioned this earlier, some cars with really thin rotors, uh, especially the metal that's out today, you can actually warp the rotor simply by over tightening lug nuts. Um, I've seen it happen. My, my, uh, myself, my own eyes, I've seen it happen. Somebody over tightened them, warped the rotor, and all we did was back the lug nuts off, clean everything up, put them back on, torque them down, problem went away. So, there's a lot of issues with over tightening, breaking lug nuts. Yeah. On a, on a highway somewhere in the rain is probably the worst scenario. So let's just do this right. So again, on it, I have this set to, I have it set to 90. The torque is 74. Again, the 16 foot pounds difference just makes me feel better. Again, beat me up if you want for this one, but I like 90 foot pounds. The aluminum rim, wheel won't come off, and I'm not going to do any damage to 90 foot pounds. So rule is, if I start to if I go to put this on and move it and it clicks, it's a click type torque wrench, it's going to click. If it clicks and it hasn't moved, I'm probably over torqued already. So if I put this on, it goes click, click, most guys will, some, some guys will go, that's oh, good. It's probably over. That's why it clicked. You want to get some movement out of it. And do yourself a favor. Sorry, I keep thinking somebody's walking up behind me, it's the leaves blowing in. <clears throat> Walk around the rim. Again, is it huge? No, but it's the right way to do it. <clears throat> Tighten down a little bit at a time. It's also the reason I haven't put the car all the way on the ground. So this doesn't have full weight on it, so the wheel's not cocked. I do have it on the lift. Again, it's not detrimental. Figure out a way to support the wheel just a little bit. There's my click. There's my click. Go again. And it's as simple as that. Um, takes two extra minutes, pull a torque wrench out. Guys in high volume shops, obviously, don't have the time to do this. And most of them are pretty good at knowing how strong their gun is and won't make this mistake. Unfortunately, some guys, some guys don't and they just will hammer that thing on and this is where it comes in with that air gun they're hammering on it or they're using a breaker bar and they're standing on it that's where the problem comes in i hope this video helped um got any questions or comments uh any discussion is always welcome thanks everybody